Yo, this is um, Esplin227, and this is my response to Rob. You're right. In one sentence. I mean, you didn't even have to do the rest of that uh, rest of that video. You pointed out a flaw in my reasoning, and um, thank you, because I like your original saying better. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, what I want is unimportant in the face of what I need and what I need is unimportant in the face of what is right um, I made an argument that it was should be ethical because morality is subjective in the sense that um, it's uh, it's I already said it in the other video but um he pointed out something if morality is essentially bunk then it's not what's right. He didn't say what I need is unimportant in the face of what is moral. He said what I need is unimportant in the face of what is right. If to be ethical is right, it clearly falls into that category. In fact, right is more encompassing than just ethical because it means both what is ethical and what is right for you you don't necessarily have to screw yourself over so yeah he's right uh, I got carried away uh, in an epistemological rant uh, so to speak um, quick issue you said uh, debating is just a polite word for arguing an argument is something within a debate there are arguments which is a statement with reasons behind it and then there are assertions which are statements without reason behind it um, an argument would be Obama is not a bad president when it comes to taxes because the taxes on the middle class actually went down an assertion would be Obama is bad for our country and he's a Nazi and whatever the Tea Party movement says um, he's gonna raise taxes on everyone they provide no reasoning or information that's an assertion a debate is the entire thing but I agree with you I don't like having debates either uh, I like having discussions. Um, what we're having now is a discussion. It's not really a debate. I mean, it's mostly clarification right now. Um, also, the marijuana and prostitution thing. I realized I probably should have mu ah, put um, <laughs> more emphasis on the fact that I could care less about either issue. What I care about is that innocent people are in jail. I don't necessarily believe in an afterlife, so their one life is being ruined because a group of upper class white Protestant Christian people who get paid by privatized prisons not state pit prisons, but the privatized prisons to make people more prone to go to jail and get longer sentences. These people are pawns to make a small or even a large group of people money. That's what I don't like. And everyone else supports this based on their morality. They're lazy. Their thinking is lazy. They have no methodology whatsoever they just don't care that's what I'm against that's what I want to fight against or at least show people that this is occurring that the things they were told about drugs is propaganda and even if it wasn't it doesn't matter you cannot kidnap someone again arresting someone for an unjust reason, putting them in a room with sociopaths that actually did commit real crimes 
to me, that's kidnapping. I could be wrong. You can come up with an argument why I'm wrong. I don't think you will. I think, I think you're with me on this one. You're very libertarian, as in people should be able to do what they want as long as it doesn't hurt people. Um, same with prostitution. I'm not going to seek a prostitute anytime soon. That's not what my argument was trying to show. And I know you're not accusing me of that. But since all my family uh, is going to see this, I should probably clarify. Taking two people, two consenting adults, and putting them in jail when they've done nothing wrong doesn't it, it's unethical and it causes it creates the phenomena of pimps because the prostitutes cannot go to the police because they'll just be laughed at they don't the police don't care about prostitutes um most people are like well they shouldn't be in that business well some of them don't have a choice no i'm not talking about trafficked individuals that's different that's kidnapping they really don't have a choice i'm talking about people who that's the only way they can make money because they're either uneducated. No, you can't just say get an education. You don't know the circumstances they're in. They either made mistakes or never had a chance. Or because they just want to make extra money. And it's their choice. I'm worried that there are people suffering because of a very specific... Judeo-Christian Islamo morality, an Abrahamic morality that's not based on harm reduction. It's not based on helping these people. It's based on hurting these people, making money from the hurting of these people, keeping social norms where they are, claiming you're protecting the children. Explain to me how that's working. Um, and pushing your particular morality, your particular faith, on people who aren't harming anyone. What about the people who do harm people? Obviously, those are not the people I'm talking about. Um, I thought there was one last point I wanted to throw out before I hit the 10 minute mark. Um, can't remember. Keep making videos. The video of you in the woods and stuff, that was actually pretty cool. Uh, you do stuff. I'm making... I'm starting to make videos and I don't do a damn thing. I, I have a rather mundane life. You actually could make some pretty damn interesting videos. Um, I'll always link and anyone who's watching this who's not Rob, subscribe to Dalheem. If he makes more videos, uh, they're going to be good. <laughs> not to put too much pressure on you. That's all for me. Um, in between now and when I make another video, try to make the world a little bit better, and I will too.